Major Mohammad Ali Shah, defense expert, is also joining us live. Uh, Major Shah, uh, your interpretation of the latest statement by the Manipur CM detailing why he didn't resign and also sending out a personal message to the people. Yes, so they most certainly, I mean, he is very clear about he would not resign and uh, the entire drama outside the CM's, uh, uh, this is concerning the CM. In, fa in fact, it was quite uh, uh, a dramatic thing when uh, he was submitting the resignation to the governor and he was, and ultimately the resignation letter was torn because of pressure from the mob, from the ladies, from the Mayra Pabais and from a whole lot of people. Outside, a lot of people ask me. In fact, uh, you know a lot about Manipur affairs. What's the problem? Why didn't he? What happened? What happened there? We thought people were opposing for the resignation. I said no. That is the cookie come drive this kind of opposing, which which wanted the resignation. Perhaps the mighty day coming to that's not what is resignation. So it's about the thing. So it is, and some people even went to the extent of saying it was probably perhaps stage managed or not. One does not know what exactly whether what it was whether. Genuinely, he put up a resignation, whether it was team manager or whether people want him there or not. But one thing I know for sure there, that it was 100% certainly, most certainly an administrative failure where a whole lot of weapons were looted all from the police station. And so many Maite friends of mine, their relatives lost their lives. So many cookie tribe people lost their lives. So at the end of the day, who uh, suffered? the people of Manipur suffered, irrespective of which caste, community, creed, tribe they belong to. The people of Manipur suffered, my fellow Indian brothers and sisters suffered. So, most certainly it was, uh, it was a drawback of the administrative failure and we heard the Chief Minister speak that, you know, I had so much of support and people still want me and uh, such things. Well, uh, whether people really want him or not, only the people of Manipur inside, they can tell. Uh, my uncle like me would not be uh, fit to tell what exactly happened, what people want. I can certainly uh, do my best to get that being a neutral party. I can get my best to at least try to uh, draw the poison, the the flames between the two, uh, the, the, the tribe and the Hopi tribe and the Maithi community. As right. Much as, hmm. you, you know, now crying when the situation has improved. Do you agree? Do you believe the situation has improved and the Congress is politicizing the issue? Well, uh, there are very factors, you know, I will tell you, it's not about uh, the BGP or the Congress, it's about the concern for people of Manipur, in fact. I'll give you a small example, like, you know, when uh, apparently when Rahul Gandhi was going, I know a lot of uh, ex-service officers who had served in Manipur, who approached, in fact, and uh, that they would like uh, them to accompany Sri Rahul Gandhi to Manipur. But all of them, I don't know any one of them who, uh, who gave the consent. All of them are uh, refused, and uh, so the very fact is now the uh, current government, with all respect and uh, this thing and admiration for them, I would say they have to identify certain things because if they do not identify, then again the same thing what we call as vulture politics will happen because they will give room to vulture vulture politics. Then they will hijack somebody from there. They have been so many. I've been saying repeatedly. There have been so many chief secretaries, former chief secretaries. So many former uh, director general of police, so many former people who know Manipur very well. So they, in fact, we had Mr. B. L. Bora, the former DDP of uh, of Manipur, uh, today back on the panel, and he was he said, unfortunately, people who know about Manipur have not been consulted. In fact, Manipur is not just like Delhi or UP or Punjab or some simple state. It's a it's got very complex tribal affinity, tribal culture. And ethnic affinity, but I have to understand the demography, topography, geography of Manipur to actually be able to deal with Manipur. That is why when uh, Rahul Gandhi was going, he called on the governor as well. He wanted, they perhaps, they approached uh, so many people, I don't know, and uh, with people, and those people had said no. They would not want to accompany him. And for their own valid reasons. And I think it was a sensible decision also at the, at the same time. Um, but again, so one has to. So you do uh, believe. So you do believe that vulture politics now is playing out in Manipur, vis-a-vis uh, -vis Rahul Gandhi and others now wanting to visit their uh, Major Shah. But uh, talking about Himant Bishwa Sharma's statement now, do you agree that the situation has improved? What it was one month back, uh, things are much better now on ground. Oh well, they. I'll be very very honest. I don't think so. People are still dying, uh, dying over there, and people are still killing each other, unfortunately. And these are our own brethren. So. 
situation is sleeping like for example imphal certain areas they have relaxed the restrictions for about 11 hours from morning till evening and the section 144 which was imposed over there has relaxed a bit all right but the, that is the problem the moment you relax it certain things and unfortunately i hope it doesn't happen i really pray to the god almighty it doesn't happen but that is when uh, a surprise strikes straight away so the very fact unless and until when there is complete peace in manipur when there is not a single person under threat even on violence violence is i'm not even getting there even under threat when people of manipur can sleep at peace people in the country sleep in at, at at night because they know our armed forces is there to, to protect them they are guarding the border so they know there is someone there to protect them right but now what about people of manipur when they are they are totally helpless and it's very unfortunate that they have taken law in their hand and they are taking on to uh, weapons and guns and trying to defend their own selves that is most unfortunate and i hope and really wish that situation would have never ever arisen and i it is really sad to see that so yes if we say that things are improving in manipur well i would be an optimist i would think positively but when i speak to my friends from manipur on ground what they tell me they live under constant threat right and living under constant threat is a very unnerving feeling to them right 